Hi, my name is Rabbi Landau from Stanmore and Cannons Park United Synagogue. So the question we're dealing with today is, why is it that we bow at certain points during the prayer service? Now anyone who's familiar with the order of the prayers will know that during the Amida, which is the silent or the standing prayer, we bow at several points. First, we bend our knees. Then we actually bend our back all the way forwards so that we reach nearly a right angle. Why do we do it? On a most basic level, I think all of us understand the need to bow in, as a gesture of respect when greeting royalty or someone really important. We understand that that's an appropriate greeting. But as with many things in Jewish thought, it's more fundamental, deeper than that. Let's think for a second. What is it we're actually doing when we bow down? The first thing we do is we go down until the point where we're actually looking right down at the floor. Then we straighten ourselves straight back up again. Now, I'm not sure if you're aware that usually during the Amida, when we bow down and then go back up again, the point at which we get back up again is when we say the name of God. What's the reason for this? The answer, quite profound and beautiful. Sometimes in life, all of us stray. All of us make mistakes. We lose focus and we let ourselves lose control. Perhaps we act in a way we shouldn't have. We get angry. Perhaps some of us get jealous. Maybe we've let other people down. Maybe we've let ourselves down. It's at that point where there's a real genuine risk of feeling absolutely worthless. Of feeling like just dust of the ground. And it's at times like that that it's hard to ever imagine coming back up again, let alone reconnecting with God. Therefore, we're instructed during the prayers to bow, to face the ground, and then to lift ourselves back again, symbolically representing that no matter how far we've strayed, no matter what we've done, our Father in Heaven always wants to hear from us.